All right, guys, nosy 30. Look, y'all notice what's missing? Y'all remember what used to be here? That's right, that Magnum with the 2.7 that was overheating. Uh, they got the heads pulled off and did tear down. Well, it's missing. Y'all know why? I'm going to show y'all why. Let's go over here. It is missing simply because of this. It is now in the stall. Okay, y'all remember uh, I did that. I, it was nosy hour and I opened that box up. That box right there. Yes. This, ladies and gentlemen, this is a new engine? Yes, this is a new engine. That was kind of dirty right there. Oh, yeah, that's the old engine, the one that come out. Remember, he already had the heads off, so you're not going to just assemble it. I don't know. I think we have to assemble it in order to turn it in, but they got it in, guys. I told y'all this was going to be easy simply because there was no heads on this car. So you just simply wrap a chain around here, disconnect from the flywheel, jack up and out. All right. So... That's where we stand on this one. They had already disassembled the, the uh, yeah, guys, I used to do these. I'm gonna tell y'all a little history on this water pump. Yeah, you notice the water pump is in the chain oiling, cooling area. So in the event this water pump leak, it's supposed to be a weep hole that go outside the block. But what if the water pump was rupturing inside? Okay, what if it just come apart? The house, especially them cheap water pump. That's why you should never use uh, aftermarket cheap water pump, guys. Because when they fail, they can cause cat catastrophic failure. So even with Mopar water pumps, they will come apart internally. So cooling would get in. <coughs> and of course, if cooling dropped from here, this water pump house and end up, that's the oil pan going to be down there. Cooling end up in the oil. You see that? You're going to naturally think you have a blown head gasket, right? exactly so that's what a lot of it was going on and even these was leaking just periodically out of the out of the blue just leak and it would customers keep driving and eventually sludge would build up it's already aluminum so that's that's i can't get over there i want to show y'all the that physical actual weep hole where's this weep hole uh, it's gonna be hard to see the thermostat go here but the weepo i don't know what a weepo i can't see it with it down like that all right but yeah you got it in and it should fire it up tomorrow man this is fairly real 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 i used to pop these in like it ain't nothing in fact the last one i did watch this video right here the one i did was a major sludge it was a 300 similar majorly sludge uh the customer bought that engine cash he really loved that car he wanted to keep his car he bought an engine i installed it that's the one i had a hard time getting the valve covers to clean up because sludge had built up all in the valve cover but yep that's the old engine i guess yeah you had to, we got to box it back up remember i told y'all we had to see you ain't gonna need none of this so it will, however, have to put the head back on the block and turn it back in as a long block. All right. Because uh, we could get penalized. So we got to put, I mean, these are numbered. The caps, caps are married to the head, guys. Never just grab a, a cap retainer and put it on any slot you feel like it. No, look at the numbers. It might say something like IFO, meaning intake fourth. All right, these are very important. These are married to the camshaft in the specific order uh, from which it was made at, at birth. All right, so guys, don't just, like I say, don't just grab these and put them on. When I was young, first got into the business, I started doing that. Now, let's com let's do some comparison. Y'all see this? Never, ever, ever, ever have I had to replace a rocker arm it's a 2.7 on a 2.7 liter v6 engine all aluminum engine might i add wonder why the bearings in these uh they had the same setup as a 3.6 pentastar but these needle bearings are hold up holding up they held up well <laughs> they held up because i've never replaced one 
why couldn't uh Pentastar or a better question is why didn't, didn't they use the same vendors now I'm sure they may have saved a dime a nickel dime quarter on every and guys don't belittle that because that adds up <laughs> that could really really add up but this is an older model and of course the Pentastar is newer than this why are we having problems we should have had back then and learned from that and now we're okay <sighs> now the revised rocker arms in the Pentastar are of better quality maybe they <laughs> got back with the same vendors I don't know I'm speculating but I just want to say I have never replaced one of these for ticking this is a 2.7 liter engine time and chain just like the Pentastar time and chain operated all right it's not uh Pentastar's dual overhead cam. I, I gosh, I can't remember if this is uh this two seven. Yes, it's dual overhead cam. It's two cams on this on each cylinder head. In fact, let's go over here, guys, because uh, I guess my whole shop walk around gonna be pertaining to this. Why not? That's a good topic. Yes, these are this the heads. They go on that two seven. Here's the dual overhead cams set up. Okay, like I say, he gonna put these back on the block. Both the head block. Now they did ask us to tear it down, but in a way, you're gonna be have a hard time shipping it back with heads in the box, just unattached. So it will make it look presentable. Even these guys, these are the lifters off, uh, last year jesters off of a two seven. Ever had any problems out of these ticking? I'm sorry. I mean, that's a terrible comparison, but it's a reality. Never had ticking noise out of a valve train ticking noise out of a 2.7 liter. And it can't be, well, the, the Pentastar is a VVT engine. So that the valve train is a little different, guys. So <clears throat> they're not totally, they're not, I'm not sure that's a fair comparison, guys. This one uses a different setup. Okay, it's more time and change. Uh, even if that's the case okay it might not be a fair comparison so but all i know is uh this engine held up valve train wise all right only valve train wise yes it had the advantage over pentastar the first generation pentastar all right but however uh it was easily to accumulate sludge in these engines based on a lot of theories okay everybody has their own opinion y'all know that all right so um some blame it on idle time some blame it on not changing your oil on time it could be a number of reasons guys but uh yeah the way i check for sludge i told y'all i just pulled a cam if i pull this cam shaft out and it's heavily sludge whoop, i'm done tear down time and the engine i'm not i done done away i've gotten out of even trying to fix these anymore in fact at the job they won't let us repair them anymore any kind of internal problem engine Okay, I think the manager has been burnt way too many times. So, guys, that's it. That's all I have, man. Uh, this will be done tomorrow. So, I'll fire the camera. We'll talk some more about it. All right, that's all I have. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe.